Ladies and gentlemen, this is Amina. She's going to talk about Halo, and she's going to talk about Halo exactly in the spot where she wrote it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amina, so, tell us about Halo. So the song Halo came to life uh, quite slowly. Uh, we came up with the beat, my producer and I, Lars. Uh, it was super fun, quirky, different. And then we came across, like, I had a solid connection on what I wanted for the verses, but the course didn't, just didn't have it yet. Uh, and then Lars came up with a Let Me Braid Your Halo. It took a while for me to work my head around how that made sense, but it did and it was fun. So, uh... Let me interrupt of... you, I'm sorry to interrupt, but how does Let Me Braid Your Halo make any sense? It makes sense because like when you listen to the weird goofy lyrics on the, on the verse, it kind of just flows together. Like you're making fun of something ridiculous. So then you throw out like, let me braid your halo. Like while I'm watching you uh, talk and fall and coming into an apartment or something that has, you know, gold plated palm trees and all this silly nonsense, then you're like, hey, while, I, while I'm doing all that, let me braid your halo. It's just silly, right? It makes a lot of sense all of a sudden. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. So, um, <laughs> What, what, so what is the song about then? So the song is actually just about like a bunch of hypocrisy and silliness. Like um, we were both watching separately uh, the TV show Messiah on Netflix. And I came into the studio one day talking about like, can you believe this crazy guy had like all these people following him? He had absolutely nothing to back him up, but just the fact that people were following him because he was getting lots of likes and being, you know, shared his posts and things were being shared and, and, and people were just so willing to fall for how silly, for, people were just willing to fall for whatever he said just because of the amount of people that supported it by liking it or whatever. And then it, we began talking from that, how um, personal experiences of people that we know and things like how they live in a certain world, but on the, you know, on the outside they show everybody this is who they are or whatever, but at the end of the day, they just are like you and I making up shit as they go um, and just trying to be something better than what they actually are. So. What's kind of fun about the song is that it's a party. So you are kind of mocking the party that you're at yourself. I'm mocking the party that I'm at because it's just absurd. You know, um, the, the first line, uh, I just want to be you, have a room with the view. So I travel quite often to the Middle East, particularly the Gulf country. And, uh, you know, you see a lot of absurd, ostentatious, extreme wealth, uh, gold-plated boats, women like walking around with gold falling off of them, not literally, but um, the, the big cars, the flashy lifestyle. It's its completely absurd and unnecessary. It's cool, but it's, it, it's just unnecessary in, in the day and age that we live in. So I was making fun of that because when I was at the top of my hotel room and I was looking down, I saw all of this and I was like, how unnecessary is this? Like at the end of the day, these people, some of them are amazing, I know them, um, but these people, they're just, they're just showing off, but there's really nothing solid inside of them. There's no reason, it's just, let me show you how much I have. In this case, they do have it, but then you have like influencers and things like that, who, you know, they show this beautiful place where they're on this exotic island slash beach slash their parents' backyard that happens to have a lot of sand. So it's just, the song is just a snarky, fun, goofy song to make fun of hypocrisy and, and, and how much we as a society seem to now thrive on it. Like, did somebody like my post? Did somebody like, you know, like follow me? Did they unfollow me? Oh my God, I'm offended. But then you don't even know who they are. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's Halo in a nutshell.